Today I'll be teaching you all about Arduino. I will be giving you a short intro on why you should buy one, where to get one, the hardware of it and how to install one properly. Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. So why would you buy an Arduino? Well today everyone uses different technologies, smartphones, televisions, vacuum cleaners, and in all of these devices there's one or more computer chips. Most of us leave writing software and designing the electronics over to engineers and programmers, because we think writing code and designing electronics is difficult. But thanks to Arduino, Raspberry Pi and several other fun experimental board designers, hobbyists and students discover that it's not that difficult at all to think up and work out some of the nicest projects. Via an extensive web store, different electronic components can be merged into your own creations that are fun, move, respond to the environment and sometimes even be useful. During this course, we are starting with the Arduino, which is easier to install and more robust than a Raspberry Pi. Step 1. Buying the Arduino. Now that you have decided to buy one, you want to get one and the fitting USB cable. A link to an Arduino Uno will be in the description, but I strongly advise you to buy the Arduino Uno starter kit, because this will pretty much contain all of the components you will need to complete this course of mine. You will also save out a lot of money instead of buying the parts separately. I will have a link to that in the description along with a cheaper version, but I advise you to buy the original Arduino Uno device to avoid any possible issues. The hardware of an Arduino project consists of sensors, actuators and a microcontroller. Sensors or feelers listen to the environment and can convert that perception into one electric electrical signal. Think of temperature sensor, light sensor, push button. Actuators can influence the environment, thinking of lighting, engine, heating, valves. And then there is the microcontroller. Microcontrollers listen to the sensors and then decide what needs to be done and sends it to the actuators. Layout. The layout of an Arduino. The power connector, bottom left, is automatically used if there is no USB chip present. It is suitable for voltages between 7 and 12 volts DC. The USB port is used as a power supply to upload software and for communication with the software. The reset button, top left, this is to reset the microcontroller. The power LED, right center, this one is self-explanatory. The TX and the RX LEDs to the right of the USB port, these light up when there is communication between the Arduino and the computer. TX for transmitting and RX for receiving. The microcontroller, large black IC at the bottom right. The analog pins, the pins at the bottom right that can be used as analog inputs. The digital pins, these can be used as digital inputs and outputs or as an analog output if the pin is provided with the PWM symbol. That's this symbol. The ground, 5 volt and 3 volt pins can be used to provide circuits, circuits with voltage. And then there is pin 13, LED. This is the only pin that is standard equipped with an LED. Shortly we will write some code to make the LED blink. Installation of an Arduino. The software. The programming environment we will use is from Arduino itself. The code you will write yourself is based around C, C++. So step two is downloading and installing the software. 
Now you want to download and install the software environment. The link for this will be in the description as well, but you're going to want to open up Google. So let's open up Google, type in Arduino, press enter, select the first website, go to software, scroll down to the Arduino IDE and select the installer that is suited for the device you're using. So I'm going for the Windows installer and press just download. Once this is done with downloading, just double press on it and it'll open automatically and start installing on its own. Okay, that's done. Gonna press yes. I agree. Yes, next. Install. Step three is connecting. So while this is installing, you want to grab your USB cable and plug it in your Arduino and in your computer. When you plugged in the Arduino, it might or will be asking you permission to install the drivers. You should allow this. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the Arduino at all. Step four. Start up the programming environment Arduino. Before we get started, you have to do two things. Firstly, you have to tell your environment what board you are using. In my case, this is the Arduino Uno. This is also the reason why I advise you to buy the original one, so that we'll be on the same page. So go to Tools, then Board, and select the Arduino Uno. If this is not set, you will encounter some problems. The second thing you want to do is tell the programming environment which serial port your Arduino Uno is connected to. So again, go to Tools, then Port, and select the right port. If you have more than one here, and you don't know which one to select, you can unplug the Arduino, like so, and then check again, and you'll see the one you need will have disappeared. So plug your Arduino back in, check again, Port, and select the correct one. Now that you are ready to code, you should go to my next video to start your very first task, such as how to make the LED on the board blink on and off, and how to light one up with the use of a button. All of that will be in the next video, so watch till the end of this video and you'll be directed to the next video. So what to do now? Go to Amazon or Arduino and buy yourself the Arduino and or the starter kit. Link will be in the description down below. There should be an affiliate link and, normal and a normal link. The affiliate link, meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. So this doesn't mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. So if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.